yet another international matchup here in the student men's eight and it's harvard university usa on the berkshire station la salle university usa on the buckinghamshire station and uh, this harvard crew has been the chat of the boat park here cam everyone's been saying about how fast this crew are they look good, they look really nice to my eyes, they're, they're off silky, they're really smooth, they're really long, really tidy blade work and already reflected in boat speed, that looks like two thirds of a length to me depending on camera angle, but that Harvard crew, it looks like a really nice inviting fluid rhythm to row in, well done chaps. Yeah, very nice start here from Harvard and like you say, if you get the job done early, you can then sort of sit back, make sure that you're conserving everything that you can for the, the later rounds of the Temple Challenge Cup. But look at that distance that Harvard have managed to put into here to La Salle. And it looks as though they've got just lovely stepping out of those puddles where the stroke person's oar is pushing the puddle out and then the re-entry back into the water is past that two persons oar. So they're really kind of stepping out and chaining of those puddles. What a shot from that drone. Let's just do the pictures, do the talking for a little bit. Those are amazing shots. Just stunning, isn't it, to watch this premier crew from Harvard University. They've been just uh, pretty outstanding, really, on the lightweight scene uh, over in the USA. They got a gold in the varsity lightweight eight at the Eastern Sprint. Uh, they almost had a full length in hand when they did that. So they are just uh, pretty gobsmacking as a unit. Their coach, uh, Bill, Billy Boyce, um, has been working with them and uh, has been ensuring that they've been unbeaten through that domestic season in the USA. But actually, interesting enough, like we said, they're lightweights. So they're racing the varsity lightweight. We've talked about the wind already a little bit. This is a crew that that will impact that little bit more, Cam. Yeah, look, look, lightweight rowing is a discipline. Uh, traditionally, it's always been trying to get the most amount of technique and uh, efficiency out of the boat because of that body weight limit. And so traditionally, those lightweight rowers can manage all those different conditions just a little bit better because of that high level of, of technical expertise. But in a headwind, that extra 20, 30 kilos of body weight on the handle can sometimes just push through a strong headwind. So I'm really pleased to see uh, the Harvard lightweights here uh, doing a really nice job in the swirly headwind and the pop water of Henley well done so we can see the back there of Kyle Sutherland in the bow seat uh, just 20 years of age and actually back back to back in Henley because he was at the, in the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup last year in 2023 and uh, he was representing Marin uh, a couple of years ago so he was captain of the uh, Marin Bow Club now racing for Harvard University this is a pretty imperious showing from from Harvard telemetry on the boats they'll be analyzing that after the race but they've dropped their rate of strike and they're managing this race for the last third just beautiful rowing stepping out of the puddles and LaSalle doing their absolute best to stay with them so throwing everything at it you can see those uh, synchronicity of the oars bow seat Christopher Higginbotham just really giving it some really nice to see LaSalle have come here en masse. They had an entry into the Prince Albert Challenge Cup as well for student coxed fours, but got knocked out yesterday, unfortunately, by Edinburgh University. But today, it's uh, the job of the Temple Eight. And look, I mean, when you're drawn with Harvard, one of the hot favorites in this competition for student eights, it was a pretty tough hill to climb. Credit where credit's due. Love to see people coming and, and working really hard at Henley. So thank you for coming. Fantastic regatta and uh, credit where credit's due to the Harvard crew. Oh, look at that. What a finish from Harvard University. Uh, drilled within the inches of, uh, of perfection. And that was a win there for Harvard University in that Temple Challenge Cup. Uh, heat and a big thank you to Cam Nickel for joining me here in the commentary box. That was his last race of the day. You'll, you'll probably hear him later on this week. Uh, but uh, I'm also absolutely delighted to be joined by commentary debutant uh, Pete Gawawski, uh, the host and producer of the Last Stroke Counts podcast. Uh, Pete, welcome to the commentary booth. Thank you, thank you, Camilla. I'm very grateful to be here. 
Uh, looking forward to seeing some fantastic racing. Henley never disappoints. And uh, these people as well, looking forward to seeing some fantastic racing, I'm sure, whilst enjoying their time out on the woods. Because it's not just about the rowing and the racing here. Uh, I know that the athletes, the coaches, the supporters, uh, all very important parts of it, but it's also that tradition and the supporters that uh, are doing other things that make this a bit of a festival of rowing. So uh, here we are. We're back up at the start with the next race down the course. We're